Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another LEGO build. Sorry if my throat's a little bit rusty. Um, you know, springtime is here and the allergies are already hitting, so thanks spring. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get back for fishing. And already the pollen is treating me poorly, so <laughs> very excited for that. Can't wait. If it's this bad already to start off spring, I'm not excited for the rest of it. Uh, but anyways, uh, today we'll be adding a new building to the boardwalk. So, in last episode, or uh, one of my previous ones, at least depending on editing where I put everything in, I redid the entire boardwalk and my windowsill and all of that. Now that that's done, I'm excited to actually add some buildings to it. Um, because of course, like, I know not everybody wants to see me do mills plates and like upgrade. Um, maybe you do. I'm not 100% sure or not. But essentially what I did with the boardwalk is I double heighted everything. So you have these Technic pieces in case you want to lock them together, of course, from the front and the back. This one actually came from my city. This was originally a corner plate. However, I just recently used a different corner plate for my city with the custom apartment building. So I ended up building something custom for that. And I rele relegated this from the city to the boardwalk. And it actually works perfect because it'll be sitting just on the edge and it'll look perfect. Uh, with that little corner set up and the reason I did double height was just because I do have a beachfront and an ocean view back there and essentially I will be adding the hidden side shrimp shack attack as the first official building on the boardwalk obviously yes there's a couple beat up buildings in the back just kind of like measuring everything out and um, at least having something there to like judge the space and then a uh, coast guard tower and the lighthouse is that a good part of it but not really because it's you know, off to the side in the ocean um, but I did this double height just to like sit over the water a little bit. I really debated doing it triple height just to really give it that depth. But, you know, we'll see. Uh, m maybe down the road I actually do want to triple height this or something similar to that. Um, maybe doing something a little bit different. I'm not sure yet, but I'm always open to some suggestions. Now, this set did come out in 2019 and is part of the theme Hidden Sides, which was a one-off. Uh, it didn't sell very well, wasn't very popular. And for me, Hidden Side wasn't my favorite theme. Um, it is essentially like AR and VR uh, where you could put your phone up to a set and you would see something different So instead of like a little Lego figure you would actually see like ghosts and stuff like that, which is a really cool concept um, I have the shrimp boat back here, which is actually going to be integrated in this set a little bit. I think and um, So this theme it was okay. I like it for some of the sets like the shrimp shack This is com completely custom. I'm just building it from this Essentially what I'm going to do is, this keeps just falling over, <laughs> I did buy this third party, and uh, it's a little beat up on the bottom so it doesn't stand very well, which is why I have it like weighted up with one of the bags. Um, essentially the shrimp shack is like taken over by like specters and ghouls and all that stuff. Uh, I'm getting rid of all of that, don't really need it, and I'm going to build a little 16 by 16 essentially approach to split this halfway. And then do another custom like surf shop or uh, tiki restaurant, something like that. I have a couple uh, mocks um, from a couple different designers in my rebrickable arsenal right now. So I'm kind of looking at which one's going to be best for me and for the city. But as of now, I am going to be building this in the corner. There might be a better spot for it. However, the boardwalk is kind of like a hodgepodge of ideas right now. What I'm thinking is shrimp shack, tiki bar. Tiki restaurant, whatever you want to call it. There was a rebrickable build from uh, Rebricked, actually. Uh, it has like a tiki bar and restaurant, which is really cool. That's what I'm currently looking at doing. So do those. And that is a mock build uh, or an alternate double build of the surf shack in the corner, which is why that's still sitting there. In the corner, I would like to do the boutique hotel. And then after that, I'm not decided yet. I have essentially two and a half base plates um, back there to do the work. One of them is going to regular. Uh, the one in the corner is going to be relegated for the jetty pass to the lighthouse and then a Coast Guard building, kind of like gating that off, which I think will be pretty cool. And then for the other two, I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I would like to do maybe some arcade games. I was actually looking at those last night. Some like the uh, carnival rides or something like that. Obviously, a base plate and a half isn't a ton to work with. But I could definitely do a couple small ones or like the bricks, uh, the Bricklink Hot Shots, I think it is. I, I could definitely work with some cool stuff here, but, you know, getting everything in, getting the bearings, and obviously getting at least the two main sets that I want here, which is the Surf Shop Custom and the Shrimp Shack, you can at least work with the space a little bit better. Because the Boutique Hotel is obviously awesome, but it is one base plate, it is straightforward, I'll be building it straight on. 
putting it into the corner and then just building the sidewalk and stuff around it. So that should be pretty cool, but at least I hope that's the least stressful part of this one. Um, this shouldn't be too bad. The set did retail for about 50 bucks. You can find it for that or less, actually, just because the set, again, didn't sell too well. Um, it came with 579 pieces, and what do we got, like six minifigures? Maybe seven? Oh, eh, five. That's five. That's five. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really going to be utilizing uh, most of this set. I'm going to be doing a custom build. Then my plan is to put the shrimp boat that goes with the set, but is sold separately. I think that's like 40 bucks on top of it in some variety. I know a couple people have done this in the past. I've, I, I haven't looked at how they've done it. I saw the idea a long time ago. Um, when I saw these in stores, I'm like, hey, you probably put that boat on top. And, and that's what we're going to do today. Well, hopefully. We're going to see if we have the pieces and see how it works. It'd be cool to have it rotate one day, but no, nah, it's not going to happen today. And then as for like the little diner and a shrimp sign, I'm just going to try and put that next to the boat. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I've even debated having like the Krusty Krab as like a modular <laughs> um, restaurant on the beach and stuff like that. So um, definitely let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any cool ideas or any sets that you think would uh, look perfect in this or how you'd like to see me change up the Mills, Mills plates in the future. But uh, yeah, guys, so another custom build and the first uh, official addition to the new Mills Boardwalk. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Help us the channel out a lot. And uh, feel free to check out the rest of the builds. Um, all the projects I'm working on. It's officially fishing season, so hopefully a lot more fishing videos have come out by then. Uh, by the time of at least airing this, once I'm done editing. And uh, yeah, it's an exciting time, and weather is getting nice, so if it could stop raining for five minutes, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I'll see you at the end of the build. Alright, so I'm going to give a quick update. None of this is really going the way I planned. Um, originally, I just wanted to do this structure, and every way I kind of did it, didn't work out. So I said, all right, you know what? I'll make it a full 32 by 32, tile this off, and then I'll do arcade games, a railing, something boardwalky on this side. And you know what? I'm happy with that. I have a lot of plans. I did a lot of work on the side uh, to do like little carnival activities and games, uh, like little texture strength hammer game. Uh, there's a couple good sets that I could add to this, which aren't going to break the bank. So fine. I'll make this its own thing, some seating area, I'll put some more stud tiles in here, I just wanted to kind of get it leveled off, the reason I'm doing this little uh, in the middle video, the the seller for this kinda, kinda didn't help me out too well, no stickers, the giant sign is actually a mast from a ship, which is about 15 to 20 dollars uh, by itself, sticker sheet's another 10 7 to 10, whatever. Uh, and it was missing a couple of the minifigures, a lot of pieces. So complete was really not the right word to use for this, unfortunately. Um, they had a good seller rating and everything, and I know I could have reached out, complained a little bit, probably got a discount. And, uh, you know, I added a couple things to my cart, you know, the stickers, the mast of a ship, and, of course, nobody had all of this stuff because it is a little bit odd. Um, so by the end of it, I was going to spend $30 plus just trying to like essentially fix this. And then I said, all right, the set costs me 40 to 50. So I just bought a whole new set. It's actually sitting right next to me. Uh, I had to wait about a week, um, just to get everything ready to go. Uh, I'm just trying to get all of my extra pieces in a row now that I'm starting a ton of new projects and there's like seven in the wing, uh, right now. So, uh, a lot of projects on deck, and I figured, you know what, uh, I'd rather spend the extra money, have a bunch of extra pieces, or, you know what, maybe down the road, increase the size of this or something like that, but, yeah, unfortunately, just be careful when you buy, like, pre-owned sets, and it came, it was new in box, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't, so, just a little unfortunate, uh, I just unboxed the new one that I bought. I'm really hoping the sticker sheet's in here because I don't see the sticker sheet. So we'll see how that goes for me. It's currently all sketchily bubble wrapped, so we're going to see how that goes for me. But um, essentially missing the... I was missing almost everything. I was missing the shrimp, the stickers, the mast, and a bunch of pieces to actually like, do these details. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to try and turn this into a little bit of a patio area. As of now not putting the shrimp boat on top like I originally wanted. The only way I'm going to do so is if I take all these seeds and put them down here, which I still might do by the end of the video. 
I just wanted to give you guys a quick update as for like the project did not go <laughs> as smooth as I wanted it to, but overall it's still definitely taking shape. Um, and I am excited to see it once it's done. Essentially, I just built it a couple off the back. I can definitely enclose this and I'm just working on a couple like little structure things in the background right now just to kind of get my bearings and see what's all going on. But yeah, that's basically what we're looking at. So uh, I'm going to unbag this new set. Hopefully it's going to be complete for this one. Thanks, guys. All right, everybody. So here's the final build. I decided to do a, a good amount of customization for this, and I am super happy with how it turned out. Um, this boat needs a lot of repairs just because when I did move here, uh, I kind of dropped it, flew the pieces everywhere, and kind of just set it in my ocean <laughs> for a while. So... Um, I do want to add some more details to that in the future. However, I think everything else turned out great. Yes, there's a lot of real estate here, but I am happy with that because once I fill in this side with some details, they'll still have a nice walking space. So I'm really happy about it. Um, having that second set, yeah, didn't want to have to buy two of these, but it turned out perfect and I'm really happy with it. Um, as for the minifigures, I was actually able to get all of them, which is definitely nice. Um, this set was actually missing a couple of them, ironically. I, I have no idea what's happening <laughs> on these complete ones. Um, but whether or not these guys stay in, um, the boardwalk or near this set, like, obviously these two will, um, because they'll be working this restaurant. However, everybody else, I'm not sure, they'll find their way throughout the city. Um, as a Toronto Raptors fan, he actually, this gives Raptors vibes. It actually looks like the three little slashes, and, you know, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone now. But uh, he looked like a Toronto Raptors figure, um, which is pretty cool. There we go. Uh, but, yeah, no, I like that. That's actually pretty cool. Little cranky face. I like it. It's a cool minifigure. Let's go, Raptors. You very disappointing franchise. <laughs> um, then we have this guy here. He, um, he I do have two of. I actually put him just kind of in modular lane over here. Just walking around. If I ever get a little pizza shop or something, uh, since he has a little pizza shirt on, I think that would be good. Then we have the waitress. I really like this uh, color. It actually feels very similar to like the hospital gowns for Lego. They have like that little off blue or white. I'm actually looking at the white one uh, coming out of the little bakery over here. But very, very cool coloration. I definitely like that a lot. Then we have the chef. I love the little chef's cap too. Definitely pretty cool. He has a little notebook and a pencil. A lot of stains from the grease on him as well. And then, one more minifigure. Very, very cool. Very detailed. A lot of patchwork. Ripped jeans. Some stickers on her. Some pins, maybe. Uh, really cool necklace as well. The, I love the purple hair. And then a lot more details on the back. So, very, very cool minifigures. Again, hidden side didn't do very well. But, I really am happy with how this turned out in a lot of their sets. I would like to add the Newbury High School as well. There's some cool replicable models of that uh, in a modular school for the city, which I think is pretty cool. Not something that you see every day, so I would like to do that in the future. As for this, um, obviously, during that little intermission period, I did show you what it kind of looked like. Obviously, without this and some stickers, but I think the boat adds a lot. I made a little seating area over here with three outdoor seats, and this is actually all done just using two of these sets, so pretty cool. I obviously didn't, like, there's no instructions really needed for this. You follow the base instructions, build it on the mill plate, I cut out some things, added some others. Added a little fish here, crab here. I moved the seafood sign to be a J, uh, instead of being uh, left side of the stage, uh, I moved it center stage, which I kind of like. Added all these sticker elements, of course. The shrimp sign is absolutely awesome. As for this, I actually took a bunch of the barrels from over here, stacked them three high. I stacked these about six high. Used either one by twos or a, I believe, a two by four in the center. Propped it up. It's actually pretty stable. I mean, if you smack it, obviously it's going to go down, but very, uh, it's actually more stable than, than you'd expect. So I'm very happy with that. I think it looks great. I used another piece of this tubing for the back line here just to kind of gate it off. Yeah, there's kind of a stairway to nothing. What I might change is just like open this up so that can be like a little little walkway or something. That's the only thing that I think I might change just because yeah, it's kind of like an awkward stairway to nothing. But I do really like how it turned out as of now. As for the back, I do want to enclose this of course in the future. However, um, I just kind of wanted to get this finished up in the city so then I can move on to the next project and then as it fills out more, 
um, I can add some more details because I'm going to have to switch some of these pieces and I just kind of want to get this finished up since, you know, it does, uh, unfortunately, it's a little unfortunate when obviously you get a uh, non-completed complete set. I have to wait a while, but I am happy with how this turned out in the long run. I am happy to have the boat on top. I think that's pretty cool and add something a little bit different to it. This is not a set that you see every day and modularizing this would be pretty cool in the future just to be able to like introduce this to maybe more people as well so i think that's pretty neat as for the kitchen really cool table set over here with a lot of condiments on it little coffee maker it looks like over here oven you have course have the pole that kind of sticks up which originally um was meant to hold one of the barrels up top now it's holding this ship down in place as well another little oven right next to the grill some storage and a lot of uh little pots pans cookware and stuff sitting throughout i also love the diner feel on the bottom that checkered floor and then of course a couple minifigure slots for the actual chef himself which a little hard to see i am debating actually you know what yeah since that pole's in the middle yeah move them off the side i'm debating ripping these off these are basically just panels to show that they're closed but they do take away um from actually being able to see inside so let me know what you think I should do. Obviously, I can just keep them, like, in the kitchen itself off to the side in, like, a little storage bin or something. Um, and just replace them when I need. Or, even if you want to keep them handy, you can always just toss them up top. You know what? I thought they'd fit. They really don't. Eh, they kind of fit. They sort of fit. Yeah, you know what? You can fit two of them up top. Uh, that piece is now gone. I'm sure, yep, the cat's looking at it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out really well for like a first draft. And um, let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see different details. Uh, let me know if there's any like specific things that you think would work well with this. Minifigures, details, tiling, whatever you would like to see. And yes, this is plain. This is going to change. I just wanted it tiled off so I can kind of get my bearings for the rest of this. And the next addition to the boardwalk as of now is going to be taking the surf shop in the back, combining it with the one that's out for delivery, and then making a rebrickable model um, of like a tiki bar or tiki grill. I think that's going to be really, really cool. I would also like to add lights to this in the future. One of the reasons I did a column like this is because this back piece is pretty much easy. Actually, they all are. I'm going to do the back piece. Pop this off, run the wire down through, and you're done. I can run a little light to this lantern up here to add it as part of the part of the ship part of the crew here and i think that's gonna be awesome i did have an uh an idea for a flying dutchman themed restaurant very similar to this like do a really similar concept but instead of the seafood restaurant holding the shrimp boat this would be like the odd little flying dutchman ship from spongebob i think that would be awesome but uh yeah lots of ideas flowing through right now i really really am happy that the boardwalk has officially started. It's 70 something degrees outside and it's beautiful. I should be fishing, but I'm building a fishing themed restaurant instead. Uh, but yeah, that's just going to do it for this build. Thank you guys so much for joining me for uh, another custom little set. I really like this and I think it's pretty awesome. You can definitely find both of these sets um, for pretty decent prices. Still, I don't foresee them going up anytime soon, but you never know what's going to happen with Lego. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Happy building, folks.